Yes, this is your boy Bunny. And today I'm in the kitchen. So come in my kitchen with me and see what I do. I am not a chef, but I just love my kitchen. So remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe on whatever you see in my kitchen. So this is your boy Bunny. I'm on my I'm in the kitchen. This is your boy Bunny again. I have a friend called me yesterday and he was saying that he wanted to know how I make homemade guinea sponge. So this morning, this is what I'm doing. I'm making some, some guinea sponge. So first thing I use is a thing of sweet milk to mix out and then I use vanilla and nutmeg. So, nutmeg, vanilla, sweet milk. Then I use three tin, three guineas. Use three guineas. And then I use two tin of nutrient. Yeah? So basically, I have a three guineas, three guineas, tin of sweet milk, two nutriment, some vanilla, some nutmeg. And all of that go into the bowl and it gives me a big glass of Guinness sponge. So with that now, all we need to do now is get my backer, which I'm going to show you, my backer, and I'm going to pour this out into my backer, and pour this into my backer. Yeah, so that gives me a full backer. So what I have to do now is cut this and get a shake. Look at that. One backer of guinea sponge. So now, you know, we'll put this in the fridge. Put that in the fridge. And that will cool. So when that cool now, you take it out, sit in front of the TV, and you have a good glass of that with either some cashew nuts or some peanut or whatever you want to eat it with. And bam, you can do what you have to do. Tell the missus be careful. Enjoy that. Don't make any baby. Just enjoy that. Have fun. Cause we don't want any more baby. Yeah? So enjoy that. This is a boy bunny in and out. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Get more. And today I'm gonna do another little cooking video. As I said, I'm not a professional cook, but I just like to mess about in the kitchen so today what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a jamaica flatjack we call it roti but it's called jamaica flatjack so this is my frying pan there's gonna be no hile i'm just gonna use a little bit of butter for grease the pan bottom and my flatjack will be that so first thing i'm gonna do is wash my hand so, I'm going to keep my hand a good wash. Good scrub. Some hot water. Okay, so I'm 
So once I do that, I get my hand dry. I'm in the kitchen. Now the next thing I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna get some self-raising flour. Self-raising. I'm not using a lot because I'm not making a lot of dumping. Then I'm gonna get some salt. Just a half a spoon, teaspoon. Baking, baking powder. So I just use a spoon of baking powder. And then I use plain water. So also what I plan to do, I'm gonna do some pinchers with some fry of onion, tomato, and sweet pepper. But I'll leave that for the time being. So now I'm gonna mix my flour back with a small portion of water into it, and then get my hand into it. Some water until you get this all together. So now, we're going to get just a small spoon, just a teaspoon of butter, that's all I need, that just to grease the pan bottom. Not to stick. Teach me in Jamaica. 
to go flat jack. So, if you're from Jamaica and you're watching this, and your parents teach you to make flat jack this way, in the comments, just type flat jack. Some people might never hear a flat jack before. So I'm going to turn this stove down a bit because I don't want it to burn. Right, so what I do now, to cover that down, I make the steam put down back around the water. You don't need any more butter. Now while that is doing that, let me cut up my one and my two meter. There's no fish season in this. Can't find the fish season. Fish all purpose. Oh yeah, yeah, we find some. See the pocket. Alright. Alright. So now There's no seeds in it, but you can still smell everything coming from the natural 
season coming from that beautiful and steam Pinchers now. I'm going to put my pinchers into that. I don't want my dumpling to burn. I'm going to keep on turning over. Bring it up. And I'm going to small. Steam down a bit. Now, my next job now, let me wash off. Let me wash off my board. So this is the real Jamaican flapjack. 
Black woman, they call it roti. So now, I get my knife and I'm gonna cut this in half first. In half, then I put it in another half. Four half. Now all you need to do is to put that in a plate and pour that fish under it and go voila, voila. <laughs> so now I can hear my fish literally bubbling up. So put that into that plate and eat. I know where you is right now watching this. Your mouth is draining. Uh, voila, voila, give me some of that. You can't let you closer. All right, so come on, come on the stove, later. Now my next move, watch me. Voila. So this is what I'm gonna have this way. This is the Guinness punch that I make the other day, where I showed you the video. So, voila. So, this is called Guinness punch. Mmm, voila. Flatjack and pinchers, what we call tin mackerel. Fry up with one of them to make sweet pepper. So now, I don't know about you, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go voila in a this. So, let me get myself nice and soft. So, I said for me, Bonnie, your boy, like, share, comment, subscribe. Yes, this is your boy, Bonnie, again. And today I come to show you how I make my garlic ginger, lime, and honey. That is what I've been drinking since lockdown. So I'm going to show you how I made my drink. But I'm telling you, this drink, it is so good, it burn out everything from the throat. I can't use the right word because this is not a prescription. But this is what I use to clear my throat from the coal and everything that passed by. So normally I would use three green lime. But I run out of green lime today. I forget to buy. So I use three green lemon. No, I use three ripe lemon. No, I use everything in this. I cut them up fine and I blend them with the seed skin and everything the ginger I grated the ginger and I grated the garlic so what I use I use six peg of garlic a piece of ginger which I grate about of these together and then I mix it with that and I blend everything but what I do I boil the kettle so when I'm going to blend it, I use the hot water in the blender to blend this. So as I said, I use six pegs of garlic, a piece of ginger, 
three green lime and I use everything seed, skin, juice, belly, everything blend out. So when I finish, I get my hot water in the blender while I'm blending. I use the hot water to blend, use the hot water to blend. So the hot water is taking the strength from it at the same time. So when I finish, I juice out all my juice from the, the trash and then that give me I use the honey to sweeten it when I finish so what that give me when I finish everything my garlic my ginger my green lime which as, as I said I don't have no and my honey then you juice out everything in there. And what that gives is this. So you have a nice big bowl of juice. So every morning when I get up, I will have this every morning. And before I go to bed, I will have this as well. Not gone. Ah, that burn out your throat. So any cool or whatever in any chest or anything that will just clean it off. I've been drinking that now for three months. And my chest feel good. Both me and my wife drink it every morning and every evening before we go to bed. So, as I said, it is not medication. It is no alcohol. It is just literally lime, ginger, garlic, and honey. Try that. And I guarantee you, if you have coal in your chest, it will disappear. It is not a medication. I repeat again, it is not a medication. It's just something I take to clear my throat and to keep my body healthy. I've been drinking this for three months now. I used to have this thing in my chest where it used to, like all the time, so often, I have to take tablet for it, and since I started drink this, that gone. So I will say it again: it is not a medication; it is just a home remedy that I make. Nobody tell me to do this; I just do it off my own. So I encourage you out there to, if you want to have a go, three green lime. A piece of ginger and six pig of garlic six pig of garlic and a whole bottle of honey. That is my recipe for my drink. Are you this is my homemade recipe so have a try yes this is breakfast time in the morning my favorite breakfast I love to mix it so my cup of tea you might say me greedy but this is my cup of tea and that's my milk that I use in my tea. So, this is my favorite breakfast in the morning. So, my cup of tea, nice big cup of tea. Nice big cup of tea. A big bowl of cereal. And this is my breakfast cereal. 
my breakfast cereal. So I have a mix. So I mix my cereal. I have a decent bowl in the morning. So what is your favorite breakfast? Leave a comment. Let me know your favorite breakfast cereal. So this is my lovely, lovely breakfast. And I'm gonna derive of this now. But also, I have a banana that's go with it. So this is a boy bunny give you a two minute preview of my breakfast in the morning. So now I'm gonna go and sit down now and derive this and then I'm gonna go off to my work or to work or to a day work. So you could either set to my work, to work or to a day work. So this is a boy bunny, a two minute preview on my morning breakfast. Bless, love, comment, share, and let me know which one of the breakfast is your favorite. Whether you like this one, or you like this one. Bless up, the boy bunny in and out. Like, comment, and share. Subscribe. Okay. And until we have clarity on this, this is why people are being told, vaccine or no vaccine, please do follow all of the public health guidelines that we're giving to everybody, because that will keep you safe regardless. And in terms, Chris, of understanding immunity and how much immunity we get, perhaps when we contract the coronavirus, a good question from Joan, who asked, is having COVID...